For about a decade, the U.S. has been running assassination drone programs in several countries. A Norwegian-produced documentary on the consequences of drone attacks is to be released this month. The documentary features a former drone operator and a human rights lawyer from Pakistan. He attended a panel debate in Oslo, which was followed by an exclusive free screening of the documentary. We have this report from Oslo. I'm watching this person, and this person has no clue. Drone is the latest documentary on the U.S. covert drone war. The Freedom of Expression Foundation in Oslo arranged an exclusive pre-screening of the film. It was followed by a panel debate featuring the documentary director Tony Ache and some of the main characters in the film. This Norwegian-produced film covers people on both ends of a drone, the victims and the pilots. It shows how young pilots are recruited and what's the moral stance of drone engineers. It also shows how how world leaders give secret green signals to the biggest targeted killing program in history. The documentary also shows how the U.S. Army uses video games as tools to recruit young people at gaming conventions. The U.S. drone strikes often result in civilian casualties. Shahzad Akbar is a Pakistani lawyer representing families of drone victims and survivors. He has filed charges of war crimes against the CIA and has succeeded in getting a Pakistani court to rule the CIA drone strikes as illegal. Because of efforts like these and highlighting the vulnerability of U.S. officials who are involved in the act and also highlighting the great civilian toll uh, which has been affected and made impacted uh, upon by the U.S. drone strikes in Pakistan that pushed the U.S. to actually draw down on drones. Brandon Bryant is a former drone pilot. He has operated drones from different U.S. bases and flown them over several countries. He offers rare insights but also faces a great risk by speaking out. They could kill me if they want to, but when I go back home, I'm, I'm homeless. Like, I am a disabled homeless veteran. I have no income. I have nothing. They're not going to take away anything from me that I haven't already lost. The panelists agreed that drones are more than just a U.S. phenomena. The debate also touched upon the future use of drones by more than 80 countries possessing them, as well as by the EU and NATO. Rehan Nekvison, Press TV, Oslo.